Okay, welcome to my presentation about what Bitwise is doing and some news about Bitwise or what we do. The current main projects we have is Firefox. Right now it's 45. And I have just uploaded. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so we did, we did uh, 45 is finished as a SIP right now. The next step for the Firefox will be that we go to the latest 45 ESR version and to the RPM of it. As with all our software, we will always have the RPM and the SIP. But the SIP is just out of the RPM, means it has the same structure, like always. So if people still more like SIP, they can use SIP. But don't complain if something is not working if you use the SIP. Only RPM will be officially supported as soon as the RPM is out. After Firefox 45, we will most probably go straight to, four, to 52. Because 52 is out as well as ESR release, and we will do 52. After 52, it's 99% Firefox is over on OS 2. There will be no more Firefoxes. Right, it's because they use Rust, they use Rust, they use Clang, they use a lot of new stuff starting at 54, I think. And right, right now, we think it's not worth to port all that as well. It's, it will be possible, but we think it's not worth to port it because only Firefox uses it. Our idea is, is different. We will do QT, we will port QT, we'll, you will see uh, later on that that's a project we will do. And then we will start using QT browsers, QT based browsers, which is probably the, I think that's the future. Because the, then we need, we have the, the same backend as Chrome and stuff like with, with WebKit and so it's similar or similar or the same backend. So it's just the front end which is different. Yeah. Uh, I know, for instance, that uh, <coughs> to fly over here, I want to print my ticket out, and everything is all fine until we get to the point where I'm going to have to print my boarding pass that says, you have an obsolete browser. <laughs> yes. Okay. yes. And, 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 and it wouldn't let me do it. I had to go and boot Windows to be able to print my, uh, my ticket. But right so now, I think you're using old one. Thir 38 or even old. 38, I think. Yeah. OK. So with 45, I, I use 45 now about Three weeks or four weeks? Well, because of the future beyond. I mean, I don't, I've never used any of those other browsers. Yeah, they are, they, the, the, the problem is with 45, you will be there where it's not obsolete. And 42 as well. Uh, 52, of course. But other browsers, they work. If you, if you are on Windows, you don't have to use Firefox. You can choose whatever. Yeah. And usually it works then because there's I, I don't know why, but on Firefox, there it's, it's it's fast that they say you have an obsolete browser. I don't know why they do that. Yeah. Yeah. Same statement also applying for Thunderbird. Yeah, of course. But for Thunder, for Thunderbird, it, I think it doesn't matter that much because mail is. I don't think mail will change that much in the future at all. So even if you use a Thunderbird 10 or whatever, you can literally do almost everything with it. I have, by the way, seen a QT-based uh, mail, mail client. That's, that's, that's yeah. For which the user interface is 99% the same as Thunderbird. And as soon as it's QT-based, it should be relatively yes. to port. So QT, QT is usually easy, very easy to port. Once you have the QT library One, itself. Once we have the QT itself, for sure. Okay, so my only question really was is that when you're using those browsers, you would not, they don't say, it's obsolete. It's no, it should not. Okay. should not. On, on the Firefox, 
they are they do that really really fast. I don't know why. Yeah, I, but on other OSs, I even had the message thirty eight is obsolete. Then I went to Windows and used the old, very old Internet Explorer, which was still accepted. So I don't know why that is. Probably it's the way Firefox works. And a, a lot of such scripts don't like Firefox anymore. Unfortunately. Another project we do, we do in parallel is Samba Server. It's an old project. We are just released the latest 3.3 and we will go to 4 soon. Then a piece of software we have to do is libcx, which is an extension to libc. We face more and more problems with our libc we have. It just shows its age, unfortunately. So we had to find a way, either we had to fork it which is not, which Knut doesn't like. That's why we didn't do it until now. So we went the way to libcx, which is an extension to it, and we do everything we can and fix, do it in libcx. It's a huge, it's more or less a huge project, and we fixed a lot there already. Then we, yes. It's open source, of course, but it's, yeah, it's on our GitHub. No, it's just an extension. It's not, it will never replace it. I mean, when we fork libc, it will, of course, replace it, then I'll, but right now it's just really an extension. Then we do CUPS, the printing subsystem. Some people like it, some people don't like it. But it's the only, in my opinion, it's the only way to go as well because newer printers need new drivers and CUPS usually has the drivers. There are a couple of issues with CUPS still. Some we fixed, some we don't know. Some we introduced, yes, of course. But uh, some stuff we, we don't see. And if you don't see something, it's hard to debug. Enjoy Firewall, we are still enhancing it. And Apache OpenOffice, we are also on the latest, usually. These are the projects we consider to do in the next months, years, whatever. QT5 will come for sure. When, we don't know. I mean when when we have it really, we don't know yet. I hope for this year, but as always with uh, bigger projects. Then Java 7 and 8, 7 or 8, we search a developer for that. We had one, but it didn't work out, so we are searching really new developers which want to do Java. So if, if you know someone, you can step forward and we can see if it works out or not. What did we do beside the bigger projects in the last year? We updated or created about 126 new ports or updated ports. So it's quite a bit. About 80% of all the ports we maintain are at the latest versions. Means even on Linux there is no later version. And most of those ports are feature complete. Not all, but most are. Some examples of them were what he did the last uh, year is RPM. We are enhancing RPM very much. We added Lua support, which is a script, it's a scripting, in, a scripting support in RPM to create easier packages. We ported Git. 
I mean, we enhanced the Git port. It was there already, but we enhanced it and then we fixed we fixed it. Yeah. Git is now more or less working as it should. I just saw one bug in one bug in MMAP coming up the la lately last week, I think. We have to look at it. But beside that, Git really works good. Yes, with big repositories like Firefox or uh, whatever. We did uh, NCFTP, which is an F FTP client. Wasn't that a big problem? Huntspell, which is a spelling engine for used as well for Firefox. Or well, Firefox uses it. And now we now we have it as a separate library, so so everybody uh, everyone can use it, not only Firefox. So. We enhanced Perl and we enhanced Samba Server. Here we'll give you an example. What what does it mean if you port something? It's uh, I was doing the port of man DB, which is a manual viewer from from Linux. So we can finally see all the man pages we deliver in the RPMs. We can also see it or look at them. I started to port it. I thought it's an easy port. But usually all ports are the same. So, MANDB needs PO4A and lib pipeline, besides a lot of old. So you go and so okay, I do lib pipeline. Lib pipeline was more or less easy because it just needed a new check, which is another port. And then it was done. Then I, I went to PO4A. PO4A needs docbox style. Docbox style needs XML common. XML common needs, and we went further. It's the same. Profile also needs some some parsers, port parser from from Perl, HTML parser from Perl, so a lot. In the end, it was 14 new ports I had to create just for MANDB. So now you really know where the time goes. It's not easy. I mean, the parts are not, not difficult, but it needs a lot of time. Usually, yes. The good thing is you can reuse it in other projects. So the more parts we have, the easier the next <coughs> parts go. If you are lucky, if you are unlucky, they use other, other different similar libraries because to do one thing, you can use ten different libra libraries to do the same. So goes life. Do you have any questions until until now? So. No. Now the community comes into play. What can the community help us? For sure, use our software. But you can't not use our software. If you want to browse or do whatever, you have to use it. What we need, we need decent written bug reports. Without bug reports, we can't fix any bug. We can just fix what we know. I guess that also does not mean a posting on a forum somewhere. <laughs> I, I come to that later. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I'm not sure if this, this is a proper bug report, but yeah, some people might think it is. So you have to write decent bug reports. At least the steps you did to get to a trap or whatever. If we don't know your steps, we, we can't reproduce it. Also proofread our documentations. All documentation might have errors. We are glad if someone goes 
about the documentation, reads them, installs stuff like it's written on the documentation, and when it doesn't work to install like that, please write a bug report so we can fix it. Else we just think, yeah, everything is good. And, of course, sponsor our work. Now we come to, that, to the Roderick part. What role should the community not play? Write reports in forums. I mean, some kind of bug reports. We are not reading forums. Sometimes we do, but we are not going to answer. Forums are useful for one thing. If you're ignorant about something and there's already a solution yeah. that somebody else knows. So, okay, then you yeah. never see that, that's fine. But if that's you okay. don't get anything in a week or so, it's time to write a book. Yeah. yeah. And the pr problem with forums is also if you, if you read the forum and one writes a small bug report in a forum, what should I do with it? Then I have to, to take this bug report and go to our bug tracker and enter it there. Otherwise, two weeks later, I'm sure I'm not remembering there was a bug report in the forum on which thread and how should I search that? This is just not going to work. That's why we need the bug report. What we don't need from the community is also blame us for being slow. Like, like I told you from, from, from the main DB, if you, have, if you start porting something and you have to do 14 ports, it can't be fast. I mean, if, if, a, if we have 20, 30 developers, it's fast, but uh, we are not that many. We shouldn't blame you, we should financially support you. Yeah, right. What also is not helpful, and unfortunately it happens, when people just write in forums, they do everything wrong. What is everything we do wrong? Again, write it as a decent bug report, what we do wrong, why we did it wrong, and what should we do better. Just writing, this is not good and this is the wrong direction, but why is it the wrong direction? Why doesn't it work on, on, on your system? And this is one of the reasons I personally ended in not reading forums anymore. I got depressed too much. So I decided I'm not going to read them. It's good for my, better for my health. So. The, other one, the other thing is we have people they ask for feature but they never spend a single buck in our shop. I'm sorry, you can ask, but... You the paper also, right, too. yeah. And somebody said, money doesn't grow on trees. Free, 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 free software doesn't yeah, grow free. on trees. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, we really, really, really need that money. And without paying anything, you're not if it's a feature we, we want to do anyway, we will do it, of course. But when? Yeah, sometimes. Or we end when we have time. So that's about it from us, what we did. Are there more, any more questions? Yes? Beyond Firefox, we will go to Qt way probably. Qt Qt based browsers. There are a lot Qt based browsers. We will we will we don't know which one we will use. It depends a bit on which one goes. We will do some testing. In, uh, exactly, which which one goes in, in our in our thinking the best way. In the office at work on Windows, I'm testing a browser which is, for example, Qt-based, 
It's called the Opera Browser. And I've ran a couple of quick tests on it to test how well it supports HTML5. There's a testing site for it. And it, it, it tests on more than 500 points. It tests a web browser. And it even scores slightly better in the HTML5 HTML test than Microsoft Edge did. Mm. And this is a Qt-based browser that uses the WebKit engine. Yes. And it looks like Firefox. The only thing that it would lack is YouTube playback. That would be a setback. But at least we would still be able to get a current email and web browser on OS2 that can be supported. Yeah, and you would all that if you already had them. Yeah, but it was an, I think it was an Odin based. Yeah. Yeah. This one is not going to work anymore. Thank you. And do you think this Firefox ready for the public? When? We will announce it today. The, the zip file is ready. It's just uploaded and I will you know, announce it in a couple of hours. Or you can even download it right now if you want. It's on, on the GitHub. I can show it. If you want, I can show it Firefox. This works very good. I, I do have one question. Um, how difficult is it in a Qt-based browser to also build in the same type of video support that currently Firefox provides with YouTube, for example? Like what? You mean, uh, YouTube mostly uh, converts everything to HTML5 anyway, so... Well, and this should work from okay. the WebKit uh, web engine web for web free. WebKit is capable of doing that. Yes, yes. Just the front end maybe you need... Uh, maybe you, yes, maybe you need to... Uh, connect uh, the backend libraries like lib uh, vpx or something okay. to it but i mean this is what firefox does anyway as well so it can and, and i'm pretty sure it's done uh, by other qt based browsers already so it's not a Th there doesn't is sound there like there a big there problem. is not a lot of additional code inside the Firefox browser except for the lib uh, MPEG browser, the DLL that's used Yes, something the like that, yes. Okay, okay. Just a couple of functions used from there for some final rendering or something like that. Okay. It's, it's, uh, we don't so think it's too hard to do. Okay. So we would have basically almost the same functionality with a Qt-based browser as we have in Firefox. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's, yes. our, that's our plan. Yes, and that's as, the plan I would, uh, as already said, uh, the benefit of it is that uh, Firefox has a huge, uh, enormous library called XUL, and this library is used only by Firefox itself, and it just wa it wastes uh, system resources for just a single prob program that does a single function. And in case of Qt, uh, its libraries are comparable, but they are used by many applications running. Uh, on your machine at the same time, and this is the greatest benefit of using Qt for okay. as a base for the browsers and all this uh, uh, crazy Firefox stuff. Okay. Some other questions? Any news with Open Office? Open Office. No labor office. It, I mean, it works. Open office works. Yeah. It just works. But uh, I think <coughs> there's no, no new development. There is development. Yeah. They, plan, they plan to have 4.2, I think, in the end of this year. That's were, planned. were they able to get new developers somehow on board? That yes. Okay. As good. Matthias told me, they, have, they got new developers here. Okay. So. And I guess it's going for, for and I guess the Apache organization <coughs> is not uh, is not going to throw out the OS2 code. No, nope. okay. that, that's for sure because I'm in contact with uh, Matthias Seidel. He's uh, responsible for I think relationship something like that for Apache Open Office, and uh, they will not remove the code. So that's, that's really our only way to go Apache Open Office. We can't go to LibreOffice. It would cost too much. Okay. Yeah, too much main power, which nobody pays in the end. 
And it works. No more questions? Okay, that's it from our side.